Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Monday, June 27th, 2016, around 7.40 in the morning in Bellica, Massachusetts. It's going to be a sunny day out, and it's going to be in the high 80s and humidity is going to creep up. Some news to report. Chile beat Argentina in the finals of the Copa American Soccer Tournament. The game ended in a 0 tie so they had to go to penalty kicks and Chile got four penalty kicks for goals to Argentina's two. So Chile wins the Copa America Championship. The low spinners are no longer undefeated. They suffered their first loss last night, but they're 9-1. And, and it's Happy National Sunglasses Day. So wear your sunglasses today. And that's about it on news. My first video blog subject for the day is about the top 10 best female TV shows ever. These these are some of the greatest um, female television shows of all time where the lead was a woman and some of these are comedies, some of these are dramas. It's a little bit of a mix of both. And here's the top 10 and here they are. Number 10 on this list of the best female television shows of all time is A Closer which lasted 7 seasons on TNT starring um, Kara Segwick as Brenda, as she was a head of a, a police department in the South. It was one of the best original TNT shows of all time. It was a great crime drama. Number nine on this list of the best um, female t TV shows of all time, Alice, which was a comedy between 1976 and 1985, starring Linda Laven as a temporary waitress at Mel's Diner. Alice really wanted to be a singer. In the last episode of Alice, she becomes a dream of becoming a singer and leaving Mel's Diner. And it lasted up, it was on CBS. Number eight on this list of the top ten f best female television shows of all time. The Melly Tyler Moore Show, comedy that lasted seven seasons on CBS between 1970 and 1977, starring Mary Tyler Moore as Mary Richardson at a fictionist television news station in Minneapolis, Minnesota. A great supporting cast with Ed Asner as Lou Grant, Gavin McClough as Murray, and Ted Knight as Ted Bass Baxter. And um, Betty White as um, Sue Ann. And this was super. We runs today on Me TV. Number six on this list of the greatest television shows of all time with, uh, with females is Cagney and Lacey, which was a crime drama that lasted on CBS for many years in the 1980s. It starred Time Ty, Ty Daly. And Shell and Glass, they were like females on the New York City Police Department detectives. Real, real popular reruns of Cagney and Lacey were seen on many cable networks throughout the 90s. And it should be on MeTV or Antenna TV or Cozy TV or whatever. Number six on this list of the greatest female television shows of all time. I Dream of Jeannie, which was a sitcom on NBC between 1965 and 1970, starring Barbara Eaton as Jeannie. It also starred Larry Hagman. And it was an awesome show. Very, very funny. Number five on this list of the greatest female television shows of all time, the classic TV sitcom Bewitched which lasted from 1964 through 1972 on ABC, starring Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha Stevens, a witch, also starring Dick York and Dick Sargent as Darren. Very, very funny reruns of it on Antenna TV. Number four on this list of the greatest um, 
female television shows of all time, Police Woman, starring Angie Dickinson, which lasted between 1974 and 1978 on NBC, it was Sergeant Suzanne Pepper Anderson as an undercover police officer on the LAPD. Number three on this list of the greatest female television shows of all time, Laverne and Shirley, starring um, Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams, a spin-off of Happy Days, which lasted from 1976 um, through 1983. Laverne and Shirley were so, so funny. Watch the reruns on me TV. Number two on this list of the greatest um, female television shows of all time is The Golden Girls, which was a comedy on NBC between 1985 through 1992, starring B. Arthur and Wu McClellan and Estelle Getty and Betty White, about four senior citizen ladies living in Miami. It was so funny. They had a one-year spin-off, The Golden Place, but that didn't, that was not that successful. And the wee ones of The Golden Girls are on so many cable networks. And number one on this list of the greatest female television shows of all time is Charlie's Angels, a detective series about three beautiful ladies and working for an unseen boss. It starred Kate Jackson, Jacqueline Smith, Farrah Fawcett, Show Ladd, um, Shelley Hack, and, and Tanya Roberts, and it lasted five years on ABC. The, the voice of Charlie was John Forsythe, and they were assisted by David Doyle, who was John Bosley. The name is Bosley, John Bosley. And that's about it on that. Tomorrow's top 10 list will be about the top 10 toughest NHL players of all time. It should be a great list. Two more video blogs coming for you today. First video blog will be about MBTA Bus Route 70 that goes from Central Square in Cambridge or University Park to Cedarwood in Waltham, Massachusetts via Main Street. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the, f the history of the hockey franchise, the Colorado Rockies, which lasted from 1976 through 1982. Keep calm, everybody. I am a Julie Button guy. Molly Wills, blood of WCCL rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swensey rocks and she's awesome, Amy. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent and the church is such a cougar. And in the words of Jim Ross, WWE Hall of Famer, would somebody stop the damn match? Enough's enough. See you later, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+.